and welcome to Donegal TV. As you can see, we're here in Letterkenny, which we'll be featuring shortly. Also in the show, we'll have plenty of music as we feature Donegal band Mojo Gogo. Andrea Gilligan will be looking at some of the gathering events to look forward to in Donegal. And we'll be in Inish Owen, where we'll have an exclusive interview with The Plea, the highly regarded Donegal band with a growing international reputation. But first, a special report on Letterkenny with Greg Hughes. The modern urban centre of Letterkenny began as a market town at the start of the 17th century. An ancient castle once stood near where the Cathedral of St. Eunan and St. Columba, Donegal's only Roman Catholic cathedral, stands today. Letterkenny is Donegal's largest town with a population of almost 20,000 people and is seen by many as the gateway to the northwest. It boasts a number of town parks, shopping to rival any town, award-winning hotels, pubs, clubs and restaurants and is an ideal destination or base for anyone wishing to explore the northwest. The one thing that's hurting me is the fact that people allude to they couldn't believe what was available here in the town of Letterkenny and then to be able to use it as a base to tour around the county and see the wonderful attractions that such a scenic county we have. We are now the largest town in the northwest of Ireland, we're the largest town in Ulster. So these things, you know, they don't come about by accident. We have an awful lot to offer here. The town also is the home of Letterkenny Institute of Technology, a third level institution serving County Donegal and the northwest of Ireland. The president of LYIT is Paul Hannigan. He's been telling us of the growth of the institute in recent years and the ambitious plans in place for the future. Uh, the college was set up in 1971. At that stage there were around 70 students in first year. We've now grown to about 3,500 students incorporating the School of Tourism in Killy Beggs as well now. We're very happy with the way things are going at the moment. We feel that our reputation is well developed within the region and we are attracting students from right across the country. We have one major project uh, coming on board within the next 12 months. Where we are here this morning is at the CoLab building uh, on the campus in, in Letterkenny IT where we have a number of incubation units uh, and we have 25 small businesses operating out of there, over 100 people employed with the different companies. Uh, we're now going to build an extension to that in uh, starting in January of next year, where we are working in collaboration with the Northern Ireland Science Park, and we, will allow us to expand that activity, engage more with businesses locally, and also we see ourselves as a magnet of attraction for foreign direct investment into this area as well. And I think our reputation is uh, well um, established over the years in terms of that. From its traditional main street to its sprawling new retail developments, Letterkenny is a shopping destination offering everything from traditional craft shops to multinational giants. Letterkenny continues to develop and grow despite the difficult trading environments and that can be said also of the local businesses as Tony Forrester of the Letterkenny Chamber now explains. I think over the last few years they've, they've kind of got beyond the well we're in the depths of a recession and looking forward and they're, they're doing new things, they're being innovative. Last Christmas we would have had really good figures for generally most of our retailers. So and we seem to be bucking the trend a wee bit. Shop LK has been around for six or seven years and it's always been about local shopping but actually in the last year because we got funding from the town council we were able to really ramp that up and we were able to go out and get you know, the county shoppers back and we're doing a lot more publicity in Northern Ireland. And all of that and everybody working together, we're working with the tourism providers as well to really say destination Letterkenny. So let's come to Letterkenny for shopping, let's come to Letterkenny for leisure. What is Letterkenny to offer visitors? Whether you want to pamper yourself, explore the great outdoors or simply wine and dine, the town has something to offer for everyone. Many visitors also use it as their base to explore the northwest or as an ideal location for those visiting nearby Derry City which is the UK City of Culture for 2013. Martina Bromley is Head of Operations with Fulcher Ireland Northwest. There's a great base of accommodation, of attractions, of things to see and do in Letterkenny. And then as a base going out from there, a half a day itinerary, a full day itinerary, taking in the Gaeltac, taking in the islands, taking in all that wonderful culture. So certainly Letterkenny plays its role within that Donegal brand and experience. We look at the Wild Atlantic Way as being the showcase for not only Donegal and the Northwest region, but also for the whole of the West Coast. So the trail itself is a driving route. It starts from Mizzen, 
right up to Malin Head. So really, we're very, very fortunate in Donegal. You look at it from Letterkenny's perspective, we're going to have three iconic attractions that really feed into the Wild Atlantic Way. So Fanad Head, Malin Head, Schlieve League. So three of those wonderful, iconic attractions. And the whole purpose of the Wild Atlantic Way is to make people stay in the region and dwell a lot longer than they normally would. From Letterkenny's perspective, as a central hub of tourism, it couldn't be better. It's going to really reap the rewards and the benefits of that particular project. So that's Letterkenny, the hub and the heart of the Northwest. A thriving town to learn, do business, or well, the perfect spot for a relaxing break. Greg Hughes there with that report from Letterkenny. I'm at Green in Avalia near Burt, one of Donegal's best known landmarks. Later this year, Fela Green in Avalia will be staged here as part of the Donegal gathering. Andrea Gilligan looks at some of the highlights to come. Ireland has a thriving festival and events industry with over 400,000 overseas visitors travelling to Ireland to attend festivals during 2012. There are over 160 events taking place here in County Donegal this year. Some of them may be new, many of them will be familiar, but all of them include something very special. There are 15 clan gatherings being held over the summer months with families such as the Cavanaghs, McGowans, Boyles, McMenamums, Barretts and Doherty's all having reunions in towns such as Moville, Greencastle, Dunlow, Ruffo and Buncrana while the now world-renowned Gallagher clan gathering will be held in Gortha Herc from the 6th to the 15th of September. Donegal is renowned for walking holidays, with special walking festivals being held in Dunlow, Downing's Glen Colum Kill and the Blue Stacks, whilst music and cultural events will be held throughout the county almost every weekend during the tourism season. Some of the major events in the county have extended their lineup and are expecting visitor numbers to be bigger and better this year. The Rory Gallagher International Tribute Festival is being held in Ballyshannon from the 30th of May to the 2nd of June. Whilst also in June we have the commencement of the Errigal Arts Festival in venues across the county. Sea Sessions has been held in Bundoran from the 21st to the 23rd and the Gale Force North Challenge will take place on the 29th in Glenvay National Park. Clonagh, Alton and special guests are holding a homecoming concert in Carrick Finn on the 13th of July whilst the Buncrana Music Festival promises a fantastic lineup from the 11th to the 14th of July. August is a great month for festivals, with Letterkenny Live and the Ballyshannon Folk Festival being held on the August Bank Holiday weekend. The Mary from Dunlow runs from the 27th of July to the 5th of August. The Clonmany Festival is on from the 4th to the 11th. And always a highlight is the Donegal Heritage Week, which has been held countywide from the 17th to the 25th of August. We're here in Donegal Town overlooking the venue of the internationally renowned A Taste of Donegal Food Festival which last year attracted over 30,000 visitors. This year's event takes place from the 23rd to the 25th of August and will be officially opened by Donegal TV's Paul McLoon. Well that's just a flavour of some of the events taking place in the county this year. We do hope you enjoy them and of course more details can be obtained from the website www.donegalgathering.com uh, The gathering is a, a credible national proposition uh, to bring people back to Ireland during 2013 for a whole series of events from all over the world. So whether it be a family for a weekend, our families for a reunion or a birthday party, our companies doing their annual general meetings in Ireland, are coming for sporting occasions, or just as we say in Ireland for the crack, this is a brilliant opportunity for our Irish diaspora and others to become a part of the gathering. It's a unique proposition and I think it's going to be exceptionally successful. Where else, just a few hours away, would you find Ireland.ie forward slash Donegal. Right here, right now. Colab, turning knowledge into enterprise. Home to your new business idea.
located at Letterkenny Institute of Technology. Create your own future and choose Colab as the home for your innovation and technology business idea. Visit colab.ie. Your business journey begins here. Sony Center Letterkenny has a large selection of TVs, computers, tablets, cameras, and gadgets to suit any budget. Free nationwide delivery. Sony Center is located at Six Riverside Retail Park, Letterkenny, County Donegal. Sony, make believe. Four Lanterns Restaurant, serving the Northwest since 1971. Home of the legendary Big Four and Snack Box. Assortment of kids' meals. Meal deals of the week. Quality, fresh food at affordable prices. Located in Letterkenny, Buncrana and Donegal Town. Also at the Courtyard Restaurant and Cafe. Follow us on Facebook and visit one of our many locations throughout Donegal. McGee, a family-run business established in 1866. The McGee brand is built around 146 years of real heritage. We are distinctive with our colourful fabrics, inspired by the rich tapestry of the Donegal sea and landscape. The McGee collection includes menswear, womenswear and home accessories. Renowned for our tweed, we have worked this traditional fabric into contemporary garments and products. Our home accessories are designed and made in Donegal. Shop online at www.mcgee1866.com When the ambulance rushes somebody in from a car crash, the family come into the emergency department expecting what they see on TV. But this isn't TV, this is real life. And when the team and I have finished the fight to save someone's life, it's the cleaning ladies who scrub the blood off the floor and pick up the pieces. When I declare someone dead, I phone the coroner, I gather myself for a few moments, and then I go to see the family, usually the parents. This is the worst possible news for you. We've done the best for your son, but sadly now he's dead. And you see those people dissolving, their lives dissolving, just falling apart. If you're a young road user, in love with life and fun, you don't ever want your mum to meet me doing my job, do you? Discover third level education opportunities at Letterkenny Institute of Technology with two campuses in Ireland's northwest, Letterkenny and Kelly Beggs. Our schools provide a wide variety of programmes with awards right up to masters and doctorate level. Visit www.lyit.ie Kelly's Toyota is the main Toyota dealership in County Donegal since 1974, located in Port Road, Letterkenny and Mount Charles, providing a variety of services from full service body repairs, NCT and DOE testing, and even car hire. Kelly's Toyota has it all. So if you're in the market for a newer used car, van, or commercial vehicle, give us a call or visit us online at www.kellystoyota.com. Kelly's Toyota, the best built cars in the world. This year is certainly an exciting one for young Donegal band Mojo Gogo. Go. Their distinctive brand of music and energetic performances are attracting a growing and enthusiastic following. They took time out of their busy schedule to speak with Andrea Gilligan. Hi, we're Mojo Gogo Go, and you're watching Donegal TV. joined here today in the um, Fulcha Ireland um, of course, centre in Donegal Town with the local band Mojo Gogo, of course Donegal based. Uh, guys, first of all, um, Mojo Gogo, how, how did this come together? We were, uh, we were at college in Derry, we were, there was, um, I think there was 10 students between two houses and we kind of, there was a lot of musicians and DJs and stuff and we were kind of like, you know, maybe we could get a band together and make a bit more money for nights out and stuff like that, a bit more beer money and stuff. It's a complete accident, but you were obviously, Jordan, playing together or playing separately in bands yourselves beforehand. Yeah, we um, we all done the cover scene around Donegal. Uh, I was in a band, Nicky was in his own band, Keelan was in a band. Uh, me and Keelan knew each other before college, but we really only got to know Nicky and Paul through college. Just sit down for an hour and have another... How long, Keelan, are you guys actually 
playing yourselves, performing? Uh, I think we're going two and a half years now, roughly. But we were lucky, like we just all went mad on stage every time we were gigging and everybody seemed to love it and just join in. So I think that's why they enjoy having the crack with us anyway. is good and it was like all right and then if you look at it now like it's just from start to finish you know it's just songs were getting heavier and stuff as well like was so it somebody says it's like it's like cutting open a bag of monkeys it's much more difficult to play in your hometown i find there's always that wee bit of pressure though because if you have been away and people have been seeing the likes of through the social networking and stuff, or oh, they've been doing this and they've been doing that. And then when you're at, when that does come to doing that one gig a year or something back and forth with people's like, right, well let's let's see what the big deal is. Like, you know, so you, there is that. You can't slack off, you can't say, Oh, it's a local gig, let's just a big grand, you know. You have to put on nearly a better show than you do anywhere else. release guys of the the EP as well can you just maybe just tell us a little bit more about that yeah the EP is coming out now at the end of May um, the four tracks are very different from the stuff that we've done before you know there's like a variety in there and stuff and uh, the, the, we've kind of we're taking on doing a couple of the videos ourselves that's going to be released with I mean we're, we're still talking we feel confident that the four of the tracks could be singles we said right we'll put two out maybe we'll put three maybe four so we're going to have, the, I mean, the first one will be out at the end of May. That's going to be called Build It Up. And, uh, I mean, it'll be a couple of weeks after that there, then the second one will be out and stuff. Um, but with regards to the EP um, releasing it, and on, I think it's just online. It's, it's going to be up online, is it? Yeah, it'll be, like, it'll be available from iTunes, <coughs> all the usual outlets. Um, there won't really be any physical copies for sale, so it'll be all digital as... This is the age of Absolutely, yeah. So. And of course, if people watching want to uh, check you guys out and follow you as well, www.mojogogo.com, isn't that right? And also on Facebook as well. So. Facebook and then Twitter. Just search Mojo Gogo Music and you can follow us on Twitter. Keep up to date with everything we're doing. Perfect, guys. We wish you the very best luck and hopefully we will see you in <laughs> Donegal <laughs> um, as well over the coming weeks and months as well. And the best luck as well with the release and the gigs for the summer as well. Thank you for having us. Cheers. Thank you. We're here in Ballyliffin, the home of Donegal band The Plea, who have been receiving rave reviews recently. This is a big year for the band, with tour dates in the UK and throughout Europe. Keith Fletcher has been interviewing the band for Donegal TV. <laughs> Manny today with uh, local boys gone international from uh, the plea. We've got uh, Denny and Dermot Doherty. Very welcome along, boys. Cheers, right. Keith. So you're just back from England, a tour of England. Um, that was a small tour. We just did uh, Manchester, Leeds, uh, London, Huddersfield, and Bath. Right. Was it? And you're back here now for. This is a wee break now. Then you, you're, you um, said you're doing you're gigging in Ireland now. Uh, with three gigs, um, we do. Uh, Belfast, um, Empire in Belfast, uh, Whelan's in Dublin, and uh, Donegal gig in uh, Voodoo in Letterkenny. Um, after that, we head for Germany. Then. You're based, although you're from Ballyliffin, um, you're based in London, you're based in France. How do you get from A to B there? Well, we're, we're, most of the time we're in London, you know, he just lives in France, but it's like, uh, it's just easy, just get the, the channel, to, you know, get the train over or whatever. Right. But most, most of the stuff we do is based from London, so we're, we're sort of recording there at the minute as well. Um, and you know, last year a lot of the stuff we were doing was out in Belgium and Germany and places like that. So 
it was handier for him to be there anyway. You know. yeah. But the band's generally together in London, you know, most of the time. That's the second album you're recording now. Aye, we're just starting demoing for the second album now. And how did the first album, how was it received? Well, we still, like, this album's still out, so we just, that's the first time it goes out now in Germany. So right. that's where the, we've got a single out called uh, Glass Wall, so we're just going on tour now to promote that. We all find out in and you're well received in Germany, you're saying in Belgium? Well, we released a single out there now and it's, it's starting to take off well out there, which is great. That's why we're going to do these dates, we have 10 dates coming up there. So, Yeah, but we, we played there before with Snow Patrol, we supported Snow Patrol over there. And uh, the crowd, they, they listen, you know, sometimes when you're an opening act for another band, people don't come in, they won't come in to watch the opening act. But in Germany, they, they, they go in, you know, they're mad interested in this stuff, you know, and they really listen everything you know so it's kind of a joy to play to them you know? who writes that who does all the, the writing um well, well, we both we both write separate songs you know but we, we both write different songs but you know if he's got a song i like or i've got a song he likes we'll get together and we'll work on it and then we bring the band in and we'll rework it again but generally for the, the album we just did the, called the dreamer stadium most of it was written on piano and electric guitar just us two in a couple of weeks Right. And then we bring the band in and work it then that way. So the single Glass Walls, you, you you did the promo, you got the video, you put that all together, and you're saying you had a local fella in the in the video. I was a friend of ours, Michael McLaughlin, uh, down in Ballyliffin. Um, we needed an actor for the video. Um, yeah, he is an actor, he's and, he, he, and he's an actor. So you know, we thought, well, you know, let's 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 get the guy that lives local, and, and we know he's good, and he's a good friend of ours. Well, we wanted a, a lunatic right, <laughs> to run around the streets in England, and I thought that's the man. It has to be the man. So I phoned him up and says, "You willing to do it?" You know, and he, he was reluctant. And I said, "Why? You're an actor. Just do it." You know, and then he, he went, and he came on the day we were shooting the video. He had, he had like five pages all written out of what he was going to do, and he handed them to me. You know, and I was like, "He handed me this part. Just do it." You know? Is this the way the industry is now? You have to do a video for every song. Is, is you don't have to, but it, it definitely helps. You know? Back to the gigs, uh, you said you started playing in the likes of Beauville and then you work from there up. Which would you prefer? Or have you got your best memories? Which was the best gig? Well, me and him used to play a lot of like, two acoustics and bars that we've played here before. You know, we used to play in here, the like, square bar here, and then the Rusty Neal started out playing there. Trasna. And the, the Trasna and Ballyliffin. Mm. That was mainly where we, you know, we sort of started out playing around the bars, local bars. Favourite gig? I think the second gig in Cologne was amazing. It was, we went out and it was literally like the arena is just packed. Mm. So we're it standing back before you go on. It's like, up. don't break a string on this one. Mm. That, was, that was definitely our favourite gig just because it sounded good and people were into it. The other members of the band, how did you recruit them? Um, well, Paul Swan. Wanted ads. Irish and Lonely. Com. <laughs> we knew Paul from Ballyliffin, he plays the bass. Um, he'd always played guitar when we were growing up. Uh, we knew he was a guitarist, so came back from Boston and asked him if he fancy playing bass. So, uh, you know, got him through that. And then the drummer is Jerry from Straban. Met him in the studio. We just had a different drummer that left and we were recording. And, he was in the studio that day, he liked it and said, come, come do a rehearsal, and that was that. And now we've got a new guitarist, uh, Dave Michelini, he lives yeah. in Ballard as Dave. well. And Handsome Dave, so. And he's just, he was pl coming out when we were doing gigs on, on the road and just helping us set up and stuff like that. And now he's playing guitar in the band, so. Thank you very much for uh, spending some time with us, talking to us, and say good luck with the, the album, and more luck with the second album. Thanks for having us. Thank Thanks a lot, Keith. Cheers. Well, that's all we've got time for in this show, which marks the end of the first series of programmes brought to you by Donegal TV. Remember, you can watch us online anytime at donegaltv.ie and you can email us at info at donegaltv.ie. Well, what better place to sign off than from Ireland's most northerly point, beautiful Malinhead. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Thank you for watching. Slán August Banner.